Let's cut to the chase. I tag Hiko Simon, Unrested, and Jake Adelstein for the Ice Bucket Challenge. I don't care if you waste water, throw water in your head, or whatever. Just do something on social media that gets the word out and inspires people to do something to help those people who have a little bit less than we do. Now, let's get to the meat of the video. Internet, it is Victor, King of the Vloggers, King of the J Vloggers, Godfather of Morons, something like that. I forget. This is the second time I'm shooting this video, so I've ruined the first video in which I opened this bottle because uh, this is the way I'm going to do it. You know, I, I had this nice bottle of uh, ice here, and now it's got a little bit of whiskey in there, so i got to start over again. This is the ice bucket challenge done the Victor way. Now, i got to admit that um, I don't like jumping on bandwagons. I'm completely against it. When everyone starts doing moving in the same direction, it's like lemmings. You know, I'm like, oh, no, whatever all that those people over there are doing, I don't want to do that because it's probably a mistake. But I've been tagged by four people now uh, for this thing. The first person was my sister, my lovely, beautiful, she's, she's hot. I mean, I mean, not from a guy, my, a brother's point of view, but I, I mean, I know what guys are thinking. She's my sister, so don't even think about it. Her name is Claudia, and uh, she tagged me. She tagged me. She, however, is supporting a site called Winning the Fight, not the ALS Foundation. I, in my last video, I talked about how a lot of people criticize the ALS, ALS Foundation because only seven out of $100 goes to to um, research, but this uh, charity is called Winning the Fight, and it says on their on their page, if you donate to our organization, you can rest assured that the vast majority, which must mean at least 51%, uh, of your money will fund research to improve the Diana Protocol. They've apparently developed a, a, a protocol, which means treatment, called the Diana Protocol, and Diana, or Deanna, I'm sorry, Deanna, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong, Deanna is my sister's friend, and she has ALS, and her father's a doctor, and he came out of retirement. He's been working on this. And um, there you go. So at least this is something that, that if you're if you're if you're one of those people who don't want to donate because of that, then please give this uh, site a look. Uh, there's a lot of things I want to cover in this video. This is the second time I'm making this because the first one took 20 minutes. So I'm going to speak as fast as I can. Hopefully this liquid um, liquid courage will help me get through this faster. So I did a little research in this because, like I said, I don't like jumping on the bandwagon bandwagons any bandwagons so i did a little research into this and i found a lot of a lot of stuff that first of all the, the first thing i found out just teaching this because i teach english in japan and i was like so one of my students said, said uh, stephen hawking has als and i said no that's impossible because you die in two to five years and that, that guy that guy's been around forever but apparently he does and of course everyone knows lou garrick uh lou garrick's had it um you know so that's why they call it the lou garrick's disease and a couple of the people I didn't know had it. Mao Tse Tung had it. Um, Catfish Hunter had it, the baseball player. And uh, Javits, the guy from Javits Center. And if you're, if you're from New York City, you'll know like that's a famous guy. A bunch of other people. There's a site called ALSBeAware.com. And they've got a list of all the famous people, famous people who've had ALS. Uh, my students ask me, why is ALS um, getting all this attention? And, you know, instead of all these other other uh, diseases, why aren't Americans concentrating on other things? And it's a good question. Um, my answer is, well, someone who, who supports ALS got smart and they were just lucky with the campaign that took off, you know. I mean, you, you try, people try to make viral campaigns and things like that, but usually they fail, you know. It's something, it's got to be grassroots. And anyway, trying, trying to control it or manipulate it usually doesn't work. However, in this case, they were lucky. That's basically my answer. Um... <laughs> And we talked a little bit about Michael J. J. Fox. And, you know, the best thing that could have happened to Parkinson's was for Michael J. Fox to get it because it just brought the awareness level up. So looking into ALS in this in this bucket challenge, uh, a lot of people criticizing it for one reason being that the money doesn't really go to research if you don't donate to ALS. There are other things to do. However, my argument is that if you donate to 100 bucks to uh, or 10 bucks even to ALS and only a 70 cents goes there and the rest of it goes to making more money, you are in you are actually helping because even if all the money you donated went to funding uh, more more money to grow the corporation, eventually that money that money will help ALS. Um, of course, not a, not if it were 100 percent. That's an exaggeration. However, it does help. And there's a site called, it's a site called Coach, coachesrant.com. And there's a blog called Fuck the ALS Ice Bucket Challenge, calling everyone who does this basically self-serving uh, media whores uh, or, or social media whores who just want attention. Um, so what? So what if you are? 
I don't care. If you are helping the cause in the end, even if you donate, if you don't donate any money, if you actually affect other people and get other people to donate money, you've actually accomplished something. So it doesn't really matter why you did it. I could care less. If you're helping in the end, and don't you think, don't you think that's true? Who cares? As long as the end result is good. Is that too Machiavellian? I don't know. Um, I think it's fine. There's another young lady who is an actress. Her name is, where the, where the hell is it? Allison, Allison McDaniels, who's apparently an actress. Who there's a lot of people on the internet who like to to come off as Mr. Mr. Everyone knows everything on the internet. I'm so smart. Look at me. Look at what I'm telling you. You know, grow up. Wake up. You know, smell the coffee. She's like, if you're not donating your money, you're just being a whore. Yeah, we get that. Thank you. But so what? Again, it doesn't matter. My argument is, even if a bunch of dumb bimbos with big boobies come on the internet, and I'm and I'm sorry to, if you're a bimbo with big boobies. No, no, nothing, nothing personal against you. But you can, you can actually accomplish quite a bit by just coming out and making a video. And even if you only affect one person, that's another person that will know about it and will donate money. So good. There is a great video by a guy named Anthony Carbajal. And by the way, all the videos that I'm, all the things I'm talking about are in the description. 26 year old young man, don't uh, just diagnosed with, uh, with a, um, with ALS. His mother had it, his grandmother had it. Actually, only 10% of people who have ALS get it her, from, get it from their parents. It's, it's, it's usually not hereditary. 90% get it from unknown causes. Nobody really knows what causes it. I did learn a lot uh, looking into this because, I, like I said, I don't like to jump on bandwagon, so I, I looked into it quite a bit. Um, so, yes, anyway, what else, what else, what else, what else? Oh, yes, I looked at all the celebrity. I, I avoided them for a while because they're all over the place. You know, Bill Gates and this one. And Will Smith. Will Smith is a pussy, by the way. Did you see when he got he got the, the water on him? He's like, ah, it's cold. Bill Gates, he was pretty cool. Cause, you know, you expect him to uh, to to be a pussy, but he's, he's not. He, he was actually pretty good about it. But was it really cold? Anyway, there was a great video. And I'll put, again, links in the description. A guy, I forgot where, where it is. I, I don't have it open right now. But a guy uh, talks about, you know, giving money to the, those of us who have money, giving to those who don't. And I completely agree with that. We should be charitable if we can. So I've decided to do it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I wanted to, oh, I, I was also tagged by uh, by um, Gaijin Shane. And I was going to pour beer on myself because you you guys know I like I like to, uh, you know, to drink. I like to drink. So I like to drink beer. So I was going to do that. But then I saw Gaijin Shane's video and he's pouring alcohol on himself too. So that's ah, not creative. I want to do something new. Then I thought, I'm just going to sit here and open up a bottle of whiskey drink like a gentleman and donate money which is the intelligent thing to do but then patrick swayze did it you know i'm not patrick swayze he's dead sorry patrick stewart <laughs> how could i fix um, con uh, confuse those guys patrick stewart did it so he ruined that but you know why if you're going to imitate someone you can't you can't you, you could do worse than 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 uh, imitate uh you could do worse than imitate patrick S stewart right is it did i say that expression correctly this is my second drink anyway so that's what i'm going to do that's what I'm doing. My my um my contribution to this is to ask you to ask you to think about what you can do without this week. Now I've been holding on to this bottle of whiskey that I got as a present. So it's a it's a high level bottle of whiskey. It's very good. I've been holding off drinking this because um because it's good. You know I've been waiting for a special occasion. I've got like three or four bottles of really good stuff that I don't drink. Here's another bottle. They were presents. It's really good stuff. I've got a I've got a Knob Creek downstairs. I don't drink because they're really good. It's really good shit, you know. And what I do, I go out and I spend money on beer instead. So what I'm going to do is stop doing that. I'm going to drink all the good shit. And the money that I would have spent on beer, I'm going to spend it on things that I care about. And after looking into this ALS Foundation and finding uh, out how it is a horrible disease. I mean, you you lose your motor functions. You lose your involuntary um functions as well like breathing eventually i think your heart your heart's okay and um but the weird thing is you can still feel and it's not painful so basically you just are unable to move you know you're just like this uh and you you are you were unable to speak anymore so i couldn't even i wouldn't even be able to blog i'd need someone to like to point my head towards the camera and maybe i could i could probably speak for a while but eventually I wouldn't be able to blog anymore. That would be horrible. You'd be trapped in your own body. It seems like a horrible thing. And you can still feel everything. But it's not painful. That's what they say. Anyway, 
uh, it's something that I now, you know, I'm not going to say I now care about, but, but why not? You know, why not? I'll, th I'll, th I'll jump in on this, donate, uh, donate some money. I'm going to donate, however, to the, the site that my sister chose, which is called winningthefight.net. Please check them out. And if you think they look good, if you think it's something they're interested in, you're interested in, they've got a long ass video explaining their protocol. <laughs> it's all scientific and stuff, but um, it's 17 minutes or so. Check that out. Um, and the other things I thought about, what else do I care about? Well, I care about animals. So what now? You know what? Let's do this. I'll donate 25 bucks to the ALS Foundation. Not the ALS Foundation. I'm sorry, winning the fight, but it's ALS related. I will also donate uh, 25 bucks to the Humane Society um, because I like animals and um, I want them to help animals. <laughs> and that includes like sp spading, spading cats, spading, spaying cats, spaying cats, uh, spading cats, spaded. Yeah, that's right. I hope I want them to spade cats because I don't like stray cats. I think stray cats are that's kind of it's mean to have stray cats too many. Nobody, nobody takes care of stray cats. They're all over the place. So I hope they take care of that. Mm. And I'm going to donate 25 bucks to Doctors Without Borders because it is my belief that society works this way. Nobody cares about something unless rich people or your group is involved. Nobody cared about crack, the crack uh, addiction problem in the 19, until the 1980s when white kids started getting involved. And then suddenly it became a big part of the media focus. So Doctors Without Borders, works. they, they work in countries where... Well, that is not the issue. You know, it, does, it, it doesn't matter. They go to poor countries. They help people who don't have anyone to help them. So that's a good cause. So these are three causes I think that I can get behind. And I'm, I'm going to ask you to look in your heart and think about what you, what you care about. And if you care about nothing, then don't do anything. Right. But if you think if you think I care about this, I'm going to just jump on the bandwagon to donate a little money to whatever cause it is. I encourage you to do that. And that's about it. So that's that's my contribution to the uh, Ice Bucket Challenge. I would have done it today. I really was going to. Like, I figured, what the hell, just go outside and dump. But it was raining all day. I was like, that's no fun, you know. And it's still, I think I think you're chicken shit if you do it in the shower. Sorry. <laughs> Shane, except for you because you, you actually poured liquor on yourself, which is, you know. You know, you don't want to pour that on, 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 the, on the ground. What a waste, right? Pour it down the sink at least. Anyway, that's what I got for you. Thanks for watching, guys. Sorry for this long vlog. Uh, well, it's not going to reach as many people that way, right? So just watch it really quick. All right. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Bye.